Online trading has become very popular in the Middle East, North Africa region in the last decade. How would you explain its popularity? Well, first, with the growth of the Internet in the region, especially the infrastructure, uh, this it, it, it gave a lot of people the opportunity to be online. Uh, plus, the concept of online trading uh, is, is really uh, uh, a concept that is uh, easy to understand and for the client uh, in, his, in the comfort of his house, in his house, to be able to get online and, and uh, trade. Uh, this is a very appealing concept to the investor. This is one thing. Another, the, 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 uh, the companies, the financial institutions in, in, in Lebanon or in the region, uh, they really remodeled themselves to be able to uh, give that service and they marketed that service to the clients. That's why we see uh, the growth uh, in that business is really tremendous. How has AM Financials positioned itself to take advantage of this interest in online trading? Yeah. Well, early on, uh, the AM Financials, and especially the board, has decided to invest heavily uh, in, in infrastructure, IT infrastructure, and its employees uh, to be able to service uh, that business. And uh, thanks God, yani, from, from the beginning, from, from early on, uh, we, uh, this business has grown uh, to, the, to our expectation. What's the upside of Lebanon's strict regulation of online trading? Well, the Lebanese Central Bank, who is the regulator in, in Lebanon, is one of the strictest regulators in the region. Uh, and this, uh, usually the, all regulators have the interest of the clients. Uh, and because of this, uh, as financial institutions in Lebanon, they really uh, try to explain and to be very transparent to the clients uh, uh, and to really to disclose the risk involved uh, in trading, online trading. So this will give a comfort zone to the client uh, when, he's, uh, when he wants to trade. Not only a comfort zone, but also the trust uh, in dealing with regulated financial firms in Lebanon like AM Financials. Talking about the client's comfort zone, how important is it to educate the client before they begin online trading in a big way? Education for us, for AM Financials, uh, is uh, very important because we know that uh, a client who has the ability to understand more the market uh, has more chance to do well when he's trading. So we've invested a lot uh, in education. Uh, in, uh, in fact, uh, now we give uh, online, online uh, courses, uh, training uh, for our clients. Uh, we have uh, partnered with local institutions, education institutions in Lebanon and in the region to really uh, give the client the education he needs to be able to do this business. Lebanon is very much a multicultural, multilingual society. How is that reflected in your customer support? I think uh, being in Lebanon, why we opened in Lebanon is one, uh, this is one reason why we opened in Lebanon, because of the, of the culture. Uh, Lebanese are multilingual, uh, they are uh, the most liberal in, in the region, uh, they, they have the culture of uh, the human contact is very important in our culture. And we invested a lot in the, uh, service, uh, the servicing the, the client, in our customer service department. So all of this, uh, it gave us an edge in, in uh, servicing our clients in, in online trading. So finally, looking ahead, how do you see online trading developing in the MENA region in the years ahead? I think that online trading, uh, it's in its infancy in the region. Uh, we see a lot of investment in the uh, internet infrastructure uh, that will allow uh, more people uh, uh, to be connected to the internet. Also, we see uh, a lot of new regulations coming out from the regulatory bodies in the region concerning that business. In addition, you have a culture in the region uh, that a lot of people, they like to speculate that also, this is also 
will increase the volume in that business. So we are still in the beginning of, of that uh, growth and we're going to see huge growth in the future. Mohamed Al-Hamadi, thank you. Thank you very much.